Hello guys, so this is the third video as part of multi-part file uh, basics in Spring Boot. In my previous videos, we have discussed about the uploaded file uh, uh, properties and how to upload a file. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about how to download a file from the server. So file will be there in the particular location in a server. From there, we'll see how we can download. Okay, so we are going to pass file name as an input and it will go into search in that server what location it is uh, from that location whether the file is available or not if it is available we are going to return that file okay so let's get started here let me create one post mapping post mapping uh, value is equal to slash file download okay public let me take response entity of byte away here byte away and file download like this okay so as i said let me first change it to response entity okay as i said we are going to pass file name right so request param let's say like uh, file name here string file name okay add a return type let's modify that later okay now with this file name we need to see in the server right so let's get the path or the directory where the files were saved in the server okay so in my case i am saving here so i am imagining like i am saving here so directory string directory path is equal to this one okay from this path now what i will do is i will create a file okay file name is sorry file you know uh, new files i'll take file download like this okay is equal to directory from this directory plus whatever the file name that we are passing okay this okay with this i am going to create a new file okay I'm going to create a new file okay and then I'll see whether the file is actually existing or not okay so simply I'll use this something like file download dot exist okay if it is exist then we are going to read that file data and download that as a new file right into the into the browser okay else we are going to say the file not exist some sort of exception or some sort of error handling mechanism we can use okay so first i'm imagining like file is existing okay so file exists so the file is presented in the server next what i need to do i need to read this file first of all so file download this file i need to read into the byte array guys okay so for this purpose i am utilizing one method called file utils light uh, file utils dot read file to byte array this one okay so this file utils where it is coming from okay this is coming from apache commons guys this is a very very common uh, dependency that you see across the projects if it is not there i'll suggest you to add even if you're learning i suggest you guys to add as part of your palm.xml and explore okay if not then you have to find a way to convert your string data into the byte array okay because you are going to read file as a string or you see any method where you are going to read file as a byte array anything is fine okay but this one is already available for us so i'm simply using this okay now you could see here they are also using an input stream and simply they are writing this as a file 
sorry byte away okay that way also you can do okay so i am utilizing this method uh, to convert my file data into the byte away okay so byte away like uh, get file data so i am getting this file data into the byte away okay then once we get this we'll see what we can do okay then it is throwing io exception in case of file is not available okay then we got this file right now simply this is an important uh, uh, method guys so i am going to return this as a response entity entity dot okay dot this is important header as what http header dot uh, http headers i guess dot here there will be one thing guys you can see here content disposition okay this is a header that you need to use for attachments download purpose okay here you need to give attachment semicolon space file name like this and what is the file name that you want to do so whatever the file name i'm passing i'm giving okay dot body as my get file data okay so this way i am going to create a file i mean i am sending the file as a header and it will get downloaded because of this header uh, http content disposition okay this is a simple line that you need to remember once you start practicing you'll get used to it okay in case file is not available with that name what i am going to do okay return response entity dot here status as http status dot something like bad request dot body as null okay i don't need this return now okay so you can keep some sort of error mechanism here as well so for just for identification purpose i am going to add a sysout like file not available in server okay here the file is available and i'm reading the file with the uh, the help of this method to the byte array and that byte array i am sending as a header okay here you could see attach uh, the content disposition uh, attachment like this okay now you can start your server this single line is little you know critical to identify that headers part content disposition headers is there right? that single line is little difficult to identify even if you google you will come across okay so yeah that's the only part you need to no i did be a little careful of when you are downloading a file now you could see it started running so i let me open the swagger so local host like this okay so i have made a another video on the swagger as well guys i suggest you guys to you know have a look into it because even that is also a really good concept let me open that for you so where it is yeah you could see these two setup configuration spring with the help of spring dog swagger or the normal swagger two with the help of spring fox okay uh, one is from spring dog open api another one is spring fox okay these two i have prepared a tutorial i hope you guys watch this as a learning uh, one to configure swagger okay so i have opened the swagger here if you go here uh here we have the file download option okay now click on the content try it now so where my file is available my file is available here right i mean uh files were available in the server here okay so let me pass this file called input 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 dot txt and execute this now you could see we have an option to download a file click on it 
it will get downloaded automatically click on open you should see this file getting opened okay so if the file is not available let me pass something like this where my file is not there with that name okay now if i execute what will happen now you could see error response status code as 400 so this is not a good sign now go to your logs and you could see file is not available okay so likewise we can uh, we can we can download a file from the uh, server guys and there were a couple of other tutorials like how to set the cache how to i mean how to clear the cache those headers are also uh, i have observed people are using as file download but this is a very important uh, header uh, this is a mandatory one okay so that's why i have only used this one and along with this I have seen people are using cache how to clear something related to cache clearing cache each and every time okay even that also I have observed but this should be uh, basic for the uh, downloading part okay I hope it's clear for you guys if you have any doubt do let me know in a comment section so that I can help you more on this topic thank you so much for watching thank you it's me Karthik signing off